Taking good lecture notes is a skill unto itself. It's different from making notes from readings or gathering material for assignments. It requires speed, attention, and an economical note-taking method. It also helps if you get into the habit of regularly reviewing and revising your notes. There are big rewards for taking good lecture notes. It'll help you understand the material better, you retain more, and over time this will translate into higher marks and more satisfaction with your studies. Best of all, you'll save yourself lots of time, stress and energy when it comes to preparing for assignments and exams. So here are Study Smarter's three top tips for getting the most out of your lecture notes. 1. Go to the lecture. 2. Streamline your notes. And 3. Save time. Regularly reread and revise. So let's start with the first tip. If you can, go to the lecture. Student attendance at lectures is dropping. And this is only natural considering that everything is now available online and on demand. But there's a lot to be gained from physically going to lectures. For one, you can participate and ask the lecturer questions immediately, in person. Second, attending lectures gives you an opportunity to interact with other students. These first two points are related to a key indicator of success at university. Students who regularly attend their classes and lectures, and who interact with others, build a strong social network. They feel as though they are part of a larger learning community, and consequently they perform better. Of course, there are benefits to listening to lectures online, not to mention ease and convenience and the fact that you can pause the recording at any time to make detailed notes. So you might consider going to the lecture and listening to it online or simply using the recordings as a backup if you need to follow up on something. Our second top tip is streamline your notes. At the top of your notes, write down the date, the title and name of the lecturer. Then, using your own shorthand, quickly jot the key ideas down. Try to avoid writing everything the lecturer says word for word. Although it's important now and again to write down exactly what the lecturer says, especially when they're saying something where their exact phrasing is crucial, it's not something you'll be able to keep up for the entire lecture. Instead, write with the same economy you would a text message or an email, but make sure you don't condense things down to the point that you won't be able to understand your notes afterwards. The important thing is to get the key ideas down quickly with just enough information that you can decode, rewrite and expand upon later. You might also want to use headings and subheadings and bullet points and numbers wherever possible. This will help you streamline the main points of the lecture, give your notes structure and make them easier to see at a glance. One way to do this is to listen out for clues from your lecturer in the way they signpost information. Some lecturers will outline the main topics they're going to cover in their lecture at the start. For example, they may say, today I'm going to talk about A, B and C, and from this you'll be able to anticipate what the major topic headings will be. Or you might hear them say, there are three points to consider. The first is X, the second is Y, and so on. And then this can be reflected in your notes as a numbered list. Also, one way to save time is to use abbreviations or acronyms for commonly used words and phrases. But again, be sure to know what these stand for. Lecturers may also emphasise points which you might like to mark with underline or an asterisk. They may say X is crucial to understanding this procedure, or a big hint like Y will be in the exam. In addition to this, you might want to keep note of things you don't understand or need to look up after the lecture. Finally, you can also quickly map out connections between ideas and concepts using arrow circles and boxes. Or you can show the relationships between different ideas using math symbols. For example, the lecturer may say something like, smoking is a leading cause of cardiovascular disease. And this can be written simply as smoking equals cardiovascular disease. Or they may say something like, brain size is not a good indicator of intelligence. You might note this down using the does not equal symbol. You can also indicate things that are less than or greater than something. For instance, malnutrition rates are much higher in regional areas compared to metropolitan areas. This can be simply marked out as regional is greater than metro. You can even map out connections between ideas using the plus and minus symbols. For example, High risk behaviours such as drink driving and speeding are major factors in serious crashes involving young males aged 18 to 25. Here I've noted this down quickly as drink driving plus speed equals crashes 18 to 25. 
So all of these tips using headings, subheadings, bullet points and numbers, using abbreviations and acronyms, using boxes, circles and arrows to map out connections between ideas, and using math symbols as a way to express relationships, all serve to make your notes more streamlined. This will make them easier to look back on and understand what the key messages are. This will also help you with our third and final top tip, which is regularly reread and revise. Just like the Confucian proverb, I hear and I forget, I see and I remember, I do and I understand. We retain 10% of what we read and 20% of what we hear. So simply passively listening and writing notes during the lecture is not going to be enough to excel at university. To move towards the upper end of the scale requires active learning where, after the lecture, you reread and revise what you've seen and heard and start transforming it into your own words and understanding. The simplest way to do this is to reread your notes the next day. It takes no time at all and you'll be surprised how much information you'll have at your fingertips when you need it most. While you're rereading your notes, highlight key sections, use asterisks, and circle important terms and concepts. Also, keep note of what you need to look up or questions you need to ask your lecturer or tutor. Finally, write a list of the most important things to remember from the lecture and then revise that list regularly. By getting into the habit of rereading and revising your notes, you'll absorb the material with greater effectiveness and efficiency. We hope you've enjoyed this Study Smarter screencast and remember you can improve the effectiveness of your note taking by 1. Going to the lecture 2. Streamlining your notes and 3. Save time by regularly rereading and revising. If you'd like to find out more about our services, including our workshops and drop-in sessions and study survival guides, visit www.studysmarter.uwa.edu.au or find us on Facebook and Twitter.